uh, I wanted to bring up Arkansas because Arkansas landed LSU cornerback Dwight McLaughlin, who was a starter this year and, and was really, really good. They have also gotten uh, linebacker Drew Sanders, a former five-star recruit from Alabama. So Sanders entered the transfer portal uh, after the national championship game. Sanders missed a big portion of the year injured, but, I mean, he, he was a starter. Uh, early on in the season, kid can play. Absolutely play. On top of that, early in the cycle, in the transfer portal cycle, they got four-star freshman defensive lineman Landon Jackson, defensive lineman from uh, LSU, and Oklahoma wide receiver Jaden Hazelwood, who was a former top five recruit, had 39 catches this year at Oklahoma, but obviously uh, quarterback issues there uh, made it a little... It, it was a full wide receiver room at Oklahoma. I will say that. Arkansas was not just a flash in the pan this year. Like, no, Arkansas, so. they, they are rolling in the transfer portal and, and recruiting for this season and for next season has picked up. So long as they keep those coordinators there. Like, they are going to be a force to be reckoned with, man. Like, this was uh, this was not just some, you know, at, like I said, flash in the pan, nine and four season where everything went right, and when they lose their uh, their leaders, they're not going to be good. Uh, they are building, man. Like, this is going to be a scary entity going forward. You, uh, yeah, you kind of... I mean, Arkansas and LSU swapped swap some DBs around. We took two of their starters yep. and they took one of ours. I mean, that's, that's, you know, I, that's just what the transfer portal is going to bring. You know, it's just, it, it is. And, and I, I've had this conversation with, you know, one of my best friends who's a big Arkansas fan over the weekend. I just let him know. Cause he was, you know, he was furious when, when the two LSU guys came and, and uh, our two guys left for, for LSU. And I, and I just told him, I said, look, you know, LSU lost our best DB to Alabama. And I yeah. said, my first reaction is pissed off. And then my second reaction is, is I, I've been fighting for this. And and I think it's right that they have the right to do so. So yes. if it's right, it's got to be right when it hurts. And, you know, the door has to swing both ways. That's yes. just the only grown-up way to see it. We are grown-ups, and we should be able to see nuance and, and, and understanding and reasoning. Yeah. If kids do not want to be where they are, yeah. they should have the ability to leave and and I like the the one time rule it, because it, you don't want them going, you know. At, you you gotta you gotta set roots down at some point and be able to yeah. deal with adversity, right? That's right. So so one time you can do it and you don't have to sit out. If you do it again, as we saw, like with Jake Hayner and and several other guys, after you do it that next time, you are gonna have to sit out a season. Like that, right. which is the way that it's always been, etc. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.